Hello, my name is Charles and I want to welcome you to Why Men Are Starting to Choose to Remain Single. I've seen this topic come up, but no one seems to understand why men have decided to go their own way. I live here in the Cebu, Philippines. I'm from the United States. I'm originally from Chicago, Milwaukee. And this is going to be my observation. When I was going to bring in when I was raised, marriage was the order of the day. You got married, but it, you got married because it was beneficial to the couple in order to create a way of life. But as time has gone on, what has happened is... <clears throat> As women gain the opportunity as the result of affirmative action to provide for themselves financially, they now see relationships and marriage in a different light. And so we knew this was coming back when they implemented this. The bad thing about this is as the result of this, there came what was called the last key kids. I was one of them. We reached the point where both of our parents were working and we had to raise ourselves. And so we developed earlier. We became more responsible early in life, which was nothing wrong with that. But as an African-American, it was de detrimental to the community. Early on, we were all gathered together. Not by choice. We just weren't allowed to live anywhere. Once we were allowed to have equal housing, we started to move out of those concentrations, and we gathered based on our character. See, the people that were, had morals and values, had character, and they were planning in order to improve life for their family. The downside of that was, or is, is that when the government is doing something that is similar to what it's doing now. It's putting everybody into the workforce. If you don't have those values where you think having a family is valuable to you, you're not going to pursue it. These things are going to be temporary to you. Because the reason I'm noticing this is over here in the Philippines, some Filipinos have the opportunity to leave here and work overseas. They come back changed. They do. They do come back changed. But then you have a group here that are on the island and can't get off at all. And they operate on a whole different level of survival. It's really something to see in contrast. America, a first world country, and the Philippines, I don't know what level it is. I really don't. I just know it's not America. And they have different values over here. A woman will choose a man based on his ability to support her and her children. Let me give you an example. I dated a babysitter over here and she said that 
she had to help support her family. But I also asked her, well, why wasn't she married? She said the men wouldn't stay with her. Then I asked her this question. I said, how many men have you slept with? She said over 250 men. I was shocked. Over 250 men. And the long-term effect of that here in the Philippines is going to be there are a lot of single women with children because they have not figured out how to improve the values of this society. And you see it. They have children. You have a different look of poverty. There is poverty here as a result of this. But what does this mean to America? It means that if you look carefully, the American population is in decline. We see it in all of these first world countries. We see it in China. We see it in Japan. We see it in America that the baby boomers are starting to die off and they have not been producing enough children in order to support that country. And this is becoming a real big issue that's going to have to be faced by humanity in the very near future. I'm going to ask that you click like and click share because I'm going to come up with some more observations from what I've seen through the years of how things have changed, how our values have been shaped by the media in a negative way, and much, much more. My name is Charles. Thank you for watching.